This is the TP-Link Archer GE800 Wi-Fi 7 router, which uh, comes with uh, two 10 gig ports and also four 2.5 gig ports as well, which I love seeing as this is uh, future proof for years to come. In this video, I'm gonna go ahead and cover both uh, LAN and internet speeds, including distance, also doing some other testing as well. And uh, we'll be doing a teardown of this uh, router in a later video as well, so that's coming. Aside from looking cool, one big thing that surprised me with this uh, router is it was able to get rid of my packet burst from uh, Call of Duty. If you face that issue, you know how annoying it can be. Prior to this router, I was using the Asus uh, ET12, and I was seeing packet bursts, but as soon as I hooked this up, put a few games on, and I haven't really noticed the pop-up coming up. Maybe once in a while I see it, but before it used to be on the screen uh, non-stop. And if you're into RGB lighting, this router definitely is going to satisfy that front, as I will show you shortly. Looking at the front of the router, we have the WPS button, and then uh, we get the Wi-Fi button if you wanna go ahead and turn on the wireless functions on and off. Next, we have the acceleration button, which uh, turns on gaming mode, and uh, the LED button to turn off uh, lighting on or off, and uh, switch between the RGB effects as well. On the back here, we do have the power button, and uh, we also have a USB 3.0 port, and the 10 gig uh, VAN and LAN combo ports with uh, SFP+ which is uh, located here. Only one port in this uh, pair can be used at a time, either the RJ45 or the SFP Plus here. Then up here, we got another 10 gig uh, van LAN port and uh, four 2.5 gig ports. And uh, one of them uh, you can see there with the red uh, being the gaming port, which uh, prioritizes uh, gaming traffic. Now let's check out the size of this uh, router so you can see if, uh, if it fits in your space. So the length here about uh, 29 uh, centimeters, height 22 and a half uh, centimeters, and a width of around uh, 19 centimeters. Now let's jump to the speed test that I did with the GE800 here. Now we're checking out the thermals of this router and uh, you can uh, see like in the middle, that's like the hot points and a little bit on the back here and the bottom as well. So the most it gets is like around 50 here. But one thing is it does have a fan. So right now the fan is going, if I put my ear like very close to it, I can hear it. But if it's like this far, you don't really hear it that much. Um, and then the fan is uh, located right here. And uh, here's the front area, so around uh, 40 Celsius here. The RGB lighting is something that makes this uh, router definitely stand out. It, they look really good. It's not like a gimmicky thing. They do look nice. So you're able to go ahead and adjust the colors from your PC or straight from the app here. So if I go under RGB effects, uh, we're able to go ahead and uh, turn everything off if we wanted to. So if I go ahead and click the power here, and this is right now everything is off and that's how it looks like. Let's go ahead and turn things on. So we got a spectrum right now, and then a rainbow, comet. So it does this nice effect here. It's not just like a solid color. And then we got wave, fire, which looks really good, ripple. This is a nice one too, because it goes from the top and then just goes all the way down. And then we have uh, some custom ones as well here, which uh, you're able to specify. Also static, let's say you want one color here, you're able to set that up too, or any other color you wanna go ahead and choose. 
You can configure this uh, router from either your PC or using the TP-Link uh, Tether app. Here's a quick look at all the settings uh, this router has to offer. So first app we see here is the network map. So we got internet, Archer GE 800, uh, mesh system, and also you can see the clients as well. And you're able to go ahead and block or set up uh, speed limits. Next we have uh, game center, and uh, it's gonna go ahead and tell you some of the things here. So RGB effects, you're able to go ahead and adjust straight from here. And going to the next uh, option here, so we do have a QoS as well. So if I go ahead and enable that, we're able to go ahead and set up a bandwidth or download limit here. And the game server acceleration. So we do have the, the option to log in with the WTF here and the gear acceleration. So you're able to set up a device priority here as well. So even the, your smartphone or laptop, anything like that, you're able to set it up straight from here. And the game port forwarding, this one is made uh, super easy. So if I go ahead and click add, uh, there's some games already added here. So you don't really need to know the ports for those. So if I go ahead and click this one, click next, and it's already putting all the necessary ports that I need here. And uh, looking at the game stats, uh, here we're able to see how much time we're spending uh, gaming. And then we have a game detector here. And uh, if I go ahead and just click uh, one of the games here, it's gonna go ahead and give you server real-time ping. And uh, next we're going to game diagnostic here and uh, we're able to go ahead and set a ping or a trace route straight from here. Next tab is internet. And uh, this is where we're able to go ahead and make those choices uh, to whatever port you plugged in your internet, you're able to go ahead and choose here. Under the wireless tab, uh, these are all of the options that we have here. And then we also have a MLO network, which you can enable here, and the guest networks, and the IoT network. Uh, this is something I did enable, and I connected all my devices, some uh, smart plugs and all that. I connected it through a separate IoT network, which is a great option for any router to have. So I definitely love this feature. Next, we have a network shield. So it does have uh, some security, which you can go ahead and run here. And then uh, parental controls. So in this, uh, you're able to create a profile, like uh, basic info, content filter, and type controls here. And under more features, this is a more of a paid security you can go ahead and set up for your router. And we have the advanced tab here, which has uh, plenty of uh, other options which you can uh, configure. Really hope you enjoyed watching this video. If you have any questions or tests you would like me to run with this router, go ahead and leave a comment below. I'll be more than happy to do that. Also, just something to note, I did run uh, like iPerf3 open speed test, but I only showed open speed test because I got very similar results there. Thanks for watching and I'll see you on the next uh, video.